Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I'm Fable and today I want to set something right. I made a video a while ago talking about Planet Arena and the PlayStation 4 version. In that video, I was talking about Planet Arena not coming to the PlayStation 4, but I appear to be wrong. Like I mentioned in the video, there were some rumors already that the UI was already ready for the PlayStation 4, but at the time of the announcement, no such things were confirmed yet. It is right now the start of March, and things are a lot more clear right now. Somewhere coming summer in 2019, there will be a release on a PlayStation 4 platform. I'm not a PlayStation 4 player myself, but I want to share my thoughts about it. First of all, I want to take a look at the PlayStation 4 players who are playing Blendside 2. I hear many stories talking about the PlayStation 4 version being a piece of shit. And that's maybe even the nice way to say it. Performance is really bad, the game misses special things like construction, and to many, it doesn't feel finished. To top that off, also the game is dying in a particularly quite quick rate, especially compared to the PC counterpart, due to being in this unfinished state or, I don't know, broken state maybe even. A lot of players can't really keep up with it. They just move on to another game because there are many good other games. But that's where Planet Arena comes in. I do really think, together with DirectX 11, that the optimizations made for Planet Arena will really benefit a console release. The game should be running a lot better, and that makes it more bearable to play in also the bigger fights. The 30 FPS in Planet Zero 2 when playing on the PlayStation 4 is actually okay. Both players would say 60 FPS minimum, but the FPS is very playable. And also, the game looks quite good. I think the real problem on the PlayStation 4 is that the Jaguar CPU by AMD, which is already a quite old processor, is really the limiting factor in the PlayStation 4. The graphics department is quite okay, but the CPU can't keep up, especially in Planet Side 2. So Planet Side Arena will be more than just one massive fight. It will not only host those massive fights, but also a bit more team that match modes and battle royale. I'm pretty sure that the PlayStation 4 will be capable of handling this a lot better than only the big massive fields of Planet Side 2. Moreover, the way you need to control the game can be quite clunky sometimes in the PlayStation 4, I've heard. And the UI for the Planetside Arena is already, I think, a lot better. From what we've seen in the betas, there is not much. There is not much. It is easy to, for example, in the Battle Royale mode, pick up weapons, pick up boosts, pick up other things. And it just felt ready to release on a console platform. I've heard countless complaints from Xbox players playing PUBG that the UI was just horrible. Of course, PC is the main market for PUBG. But the inventory system especially was just horrible. You have to keep in mind, even if your main platform works fine, if you decide to go to another platform, it will hurt your reputation if it isn't a good game, if it doesn't run well, if it doesn't whatever, if it doesn't feel good. PlayStation 4 players will move on to PC platform maybe. I've already tried Planet Side 2 and thought, okay, this game just runs like shit. I'm not going to try that anymore on PC. I have already played on the PlayStation 4, so why should I even try? Well, on the topic of reputation, the more players you can reach, the better, of course. When you only release a PC platform game, you limit yourself, because already there are almost 100 million players on the PlayStation 4. 100 million potential players. Fortnite is very clever. They not only went for the mainstream PC, Xbox, PlayStation platforms, no, they went one step further even to the mobile platform. And there is also cross-play between all those platforms, if you want to play at least. The game went viral also thanks to word of mouth. And I think Planet Side Arena can also use a bit of word of mouth. I have many friends who own a PlayStation 4 but I don't own a PC. Right now I am already telling guys about this game. They don't own a PC, they can't really, I don't really recommend them playing Planet Side 2 right now on the PlayStation 4. But I'm hyping them up about the Planet Side Arena reason of PlayStation 4. They ask me if there's going to be cross-play in the future so I can play with them. I don't know. I don't know. What do I hope personally? I personally hope they don't do that. It is very clear to me that the mouse and the keyboard are just way more reliable when shooting. Especially in like this FPS shooter. If it was Fortnite, okay, third person shooting can be also very good with a controller, but especially this first person mode, don't do that with a controller. But Faber and I can't play with my friends on the PlayStation. Yeah, I know, it's maybe not the, the most, the best thing, it's not fun of course, but in the end you also want to keep the experience good. 
And if you try to mix people on the PlayStation 4 with Auto A maybe, or a bit of an aimbot system, the experience can become worse, which I don't want it to be. The only thing we know for sure is when you don't mix them, they will both have a quite level playing field. Of course, there are these, these modified PlayStation controllers, and I've even heard stories of getting mouse support to consoles. But still, most of the time, if you're playing on the PC, you're playing a mouse keyboard, and if you're playing on a PlayStation, you're playing with a normal Sony controller, the DualShock 1. Level playing fields are very important. I'm not saying that I'm using this gamer mouse and this mechanical keyboard, I'm not better than somebody using like a $5 mouse or $5 keyboard. There is like a little bit of a difference, also the same with I'm using a 144Hz monitor. I will have a little bit of an edge above other players, but the difference is a lot smaller. So from my perspective, please don't implement crossplay. So we talked about the reputation, we talked about the performance, that it should be good. But what about development? Will developing for the PlayStation 4 mean there's less time available for PC release? Yes and no. What I think is going to happen is that the PC release will be the main game and the PlayStation 4 game will be a port. I've read some articles about it and right now in 2019 it appears that making a port from the PC platform to the PlayStation platform is a lot easier than before. I was already talking about the AMD Jaguar CPU in the PlayStation 4 and this is rather similar to what you can find nowadays in a PC like in a Ryzen CPU. They don't use different chipsets anymore so it's a lot easier to develop for both the PC and the PlayStation 4. It will approximately take 3 months to, to transform a PC game to a PlayStation 4 game. So yes, it will take developer time, but is it worth it? Developers need to get paid, and I think the PlayStation 4 platform is a perfect one for getting paying players. Players on the PlayStation 4 are already used to paying, for example, AAA games, like $60, whereas on the PC platform, pirating is still a quite nice problem. Also, on the PlayStation 4, you already have to pay this monthly fee for playing online. If Flansat Arena is going free to play, I don't say it is going to be, but there's a possibility still. It can be very well possible that those PlayStation 4 players are more easily inclined to get this All Access membership. I don't have any numbers from the current PlayStation 4 players for Flansat 2, but I've heard some rumors the amount of PlayStation 4 players with a membership is a lot higher than the amount of PC players with a membership. It might be also because we PC players tend to put a lot of money in all PCs, whereas the PlayStation 4, when you got one, it's, it's done. You can maybe buy the Pro one, but the PlayStation 4 will also run the games fine. Also, the PlayStation 4 is ridiculously cheap nowadays. I think you can get one for $200 in the right sale, whereas for the most PCs, you have to really start looking for at least $500. Also, many people already own a TV. Not everyone already has a monitor. Or like the desktop. You can always say of course that people also probably own a laptop but often laptops don't run games that smooth. Then again the PC requirements for Plaza Arena aren't that high so that's a, also a thing you need to keep in mind. Anyway I do think that PlayStation 4 players do have some money they can spend on the game and the money they do spend on the game can be used to further develop Plaza Arena and maybe even Plaza 3 in the future. More players is more money in general. Especially if the investment in making this PlayStation 4 release is relatively cheap, relatively easy. I don't know why they shouldn't do it. The only thing in my opinion is that the developers need to keep working on having the PlayStation 4 on say more or less the same level as the PC game. Right now that isn't the case. PlayStation 4 gets less love than the PC and I do get why. The PlayStation 4 version is not that but I don't know it doesn't feel good too. And the PC version has a lot more players right now. When they want to have a successful release on both platforms, they do need to work on that. They do need to work on that. But I do think they learn from their mistakes. Right now, they don't have to rush a game like they did with Sony Online Entertainment before. They just needed to finish this game for the PlayStation 4. And right now, I think they learned from what they have seen in the PlayStation 4 development time. And they also have some more time right now to think about it. How do we implement this in the PlayStation 4? How do we get this gameplay to work also on the PC as well as the PlayStation 4. Again, I'm a PC Master Race player, but I do want to share this game with as much people as possible. Maybe even make an Xbox game in the future. I've seen some people rallying for that too. But the only thing, please every game, don't make a mobile application right now. Don't make a mobile application because I know everybody has a cell phone, right? Everybody has a cell phone, but 
Come on, this isn't a gaming platform, is it? Anyway, that's enough ranting from me, guys. I'm Favor1, and I will see you soon with some more content.